സി ആർ പി സി സെക്കൻഡ് ജുവനൈൽ അണ്ടർ ജുവനൈൽ ജസ്റ്റിസ് ആക്ട് എ ജുവനൈൽ മീൻസ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഹാസ് നോട്ട് കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഏജ് അണ്ടർ യു എൻ സി ആർ സി ആൻഡ് സെക്ഷൻ ടു കെ ഓഫ് ജെ ജെ ആക്ട് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ജെ ജെ ആക്ട് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ടു എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് ഓർ ട്രൈഡ് എസ് അഡൽസ് ഫോർ ഹീനസ് ക്രൈംസ് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ അഫൻസ് വിത്ത് മിനിമം പെനാൽറ്റി ഓഫ് സെവൻ ഇയർ ഇംപ്രിസൺമെൻറ്റ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ ജുവനൈൽ ഓർ ഡിവൈഡ് ഇൻ ടു ടു കാറ്റഗറീസ് ആസ് പെർ സെക്ഷൻ ടു ഡി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ചൈൽഡ് ഇൻ നീഡ് ഓഫ് കെയർ സി ഐ എൻ ഡി ആൻഡ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ടു എൽ വെർ ജുവനൈൽ ഇൻ കോൺഫ്ലിക്ട് വിത്ത് ലോ ടു മെയിൻ ബോഡീസ് ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ദീസ് ടു കാറ്റഗറീസ് ജുവനൈൽ ജസ്റ്റിസ് ബോർഡ് ഫോർ ജെ ഐ സി എൽ ആൻഡ് ചൈൽഡ് വെൽഫെയർ കമ്മിറ്റി ഫോർ സി സി എൻ പി അപ്പീൽ ആൻഡ് റിവിഷൻ അപ്പീൽ ഇസ് വെയർ ബൈ എൻ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ പിറ്റിഷൻ ഇസ് ടു ബി ഹേർഡ് ഇൻ എ ന്യൂ കോർട്ട് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി എ ഹയർ കോർട്ട് റിവിഷൻ ഇസ് റീ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ലീഗൽ ആക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് എ ലോവർ കോർട്ട് ബൈ എ ഹയർ കോർട്ട് അപ്പീൽ ഇസ് എ ലീഗൽ റൈറ്റ് അണ്ടർ അണ്ടർ സെക്ഷൻ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഓഫ് അണ്ടർ ആർട്ടിക്കൽ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഓഫ് ദ കൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ റിവിഷൻ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഹയർ കോർട്ട് അണ്ടർ സെക്ഷൻ ത്രീ നയൻറ്റി നയൻ സി ആർ പി സി അപ്പീൽ റിസിഡ് ടു എ സുപീരിയർ കോർട്ട് അപ്പീൽ ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് റീ ഹിയറിംഗ് എ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഓഫ് ലോ ആൻഡ് ഫാക്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കേസ് വെർ ഇസ് എ റിവിഷൻ ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് നോൺ എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ജൂറി ഡിക്ഷൻ ബൈ ലോവർ കോർട്ട് എക്സിഡിംഗ് ദ ജൂറി ഡിക്ഷൻ ബൈ ലോവർ കോർട്ട് ഇറെഗുലർലി എക്സർസൈസിംഗ് ദ ജൂറി ഡിക്ഷൻ അവൈലബിൾ appeal deals with under chapter 229 while the reference and revision are dealt with under chapter 30 section 397 to 402 crpc parole parole under probation of offenders act refers to a period uh, act decision by the board of parole when an individual serving a life sentence is released into the community under certain conditions and under the supervision of a parole officer for a period decided by the board if the offender violates any of the parole conditions he is re- inducted into the prison system the grant of parole is governed by rules made under the prison act 1894 and prison act 1900 each of the states have their own parole rules in the case of avtar singh was a state of haryana as he held that grant of parole to be uh, to be administrative action in is a let's say temporary release from prison custody without suspending the sentence in ahmed was a state of rajasthan as he held and this this act can't be extended to a person who indulges in and in resulting into an explosive exception explosive situation parole is based on reformative theory it's called a parole parolee is called it originated from the french word je donna ma parole that is i give my word sunita shah versus union of india 2000 parole is of two kinds custody parole not exceeding Six hours to deal with emergency and family crisis and regular parole for good behavior. Probation under Probation of Offenders Act. Probation and of Offenders Act 1958 defines probation as a period of time when a criminal must behave well and not commit any more crimes in order to avoid being sent to prison. Section 4 deals with the probation giving power to the court to release a person on probation for good conduct wherein he is guilty of an offense not punishable with death or imprisonment for life and looking forward. and working at the, looking at the circumstances of the case and the nature of offense character of the offender it is released into a band with or without securities to appear on remand and to keep peace and good behavior case of sitaram sali versus state of maharashtra when the minor theft he extended the benefit of probation basic kisan versus state of orissa when a person committing offense under section 380 ipc accidental but not deliberately was given the benefit victim of crime the indian legislature was not defined victim of under any law nor has any court dared done so a victim is anyone suffering physical emotional financial harm or as a direct result of a crime in its broader sense they also include spouses and children of the family of the person who was directly a target of crime it may also conclude include parents and siblings other than custodians un general assembly declaration of basic principles of justice for victim and abuse of power adopted in november 1985 defines under the act victim means persons who individually or collectively have suffered harm including physical or mental injury emotional suffering economic loss or substantial impairment of their fundamental rights through acts or omissions that are in violation of the criminal laws operative in a country including those laws prescribing criminal or abuse of power article 2. a person is considered victim regardless of whether the perpetrator is identified or apprehended prosecuted or convicted and regardless of the familial relationship between the perpetrator and the victim 
Presumption of Innocence, Article 20, Clause 3 of the Constitution of India guarantees a fundamental right against self-incrimination. In Article 21, Constitution of India grants a fundamental right to right to liberty and life. Liberty of a person cannot be taken away except by a procedure laid down. In Manika Gandhi case, the procedure under Section 21 must be just, fair and equitable. CRPC 161, Clause 2 grants a right to silence even during interrogation by police. CRPC 31. 313 Clause 3 protects the right to silence at the trial. 315 Clause 1 CRPC B precludes any comment by any of the parties or the court on regard to the failure of the accusation to give, accused to give evidence. Although our provisions in Constitution of India and CRPC creates a presumption against guilty and presumption in favor of innocence throughout the English criminal law or golden thread, always to be seen that it is the duty of the prosecution. In adversarial system to prove the guilt, right to silence is based on the principle nemo debit prodere ipsum, privilege against self-incrimination. Presumption is shifted in many of the legislations from the prosecution to the accused by reverse animus clause, reverse owners clause. Example, section 29 of the POXO Act, section 35 NDPS Act, section 43E, Unlawful Activities of Prevention Act, UAPA, UAPA. Section 24, Prevention of Money Laundering Act in criminal cases where accused pleads his case under general exception under IPC, the burden and the onus is on the accused to prove his innocence. Compounding of offences. Legal provisions regarding compounding of offences are given under CRPC 326, which means to establish a compromise between the two parties where the complainant agrees to have the charges dropped against the accused under Section 320 CRPC. A table is annexed to which specifies the offences in column 1, IPC in column 2 and the person who can compound the same in column 3, which is a victim. Remission of court is necessary when an offence is compoundable. Abatement or attempt or where the accused is liable under section 34, under section 49 of IPC may also be compoundable in a like manner where a person competent is dead. His legal representative sentence may be compounded even offence, where it is under trial or under appeal, no compounding is allowed without leave of the court. NC or session court under section 401 CRPC may allow any person to compound any offence which he is competent in the compounding of an offence shall have the effect of acquittal of the accused, legal aid to an indigent accused. Article 22 of the Constitution of India provides that any person who has been arrested shall not be denied a legal counsel of his choice. This empowers the person legal assistance as a matter of fundamental right. Free legal aid and advice is given by the state to people whose annual income is below 25,000 rupees, people of indigenous nature, and also be specified groups are to disadvantage section of society, namely the CST women, children, weaker sections, unsound mind, victims of communal violence, religious atrocities, natural man-made calamities, legal aid covered under Legal Service Authority Act 1987, FIR. It does not find a definition under CRPC. First information report is the document prepared in the criminal proceedings. It makes a record of the, of the, uh, the story. Uh, it sets in motion the police investigation. Section 154, 1 CRPC says the FIR can be registered as a cognizable offence only. Hallo and others was a state of MP. Lodging an FIR is a simple as narrating a story to a police officer can be given orally and written down. And when given orally, it must be reduced to writing by the police. The report must be read out to the conformant and be signed by him. When police refuse to lodge a fire, the informant can approach the superior police officer of the court under Section 152 Class 3. Informant can submit to SP. If the informant is unsatisfied under Section 152 Class 3, he can further pursue the remedy under Section 156 Class 3, read with 19. 190 CRPC. The Delay, if any, in registering a fire becomes a matter of concern. It needs to be explained satisfactorily by the police. In the present times, zero FIR or online FIR are available to the informants under CCTNS scheme. Salient features of the GG Act 2015. The GG Act 2015 deals with two categories of children, children who need care and protection and children juvenile in conflict with law. The GG Act 2015 was passed on 31 December 2015, came into force. On 1st January 2016, it had 10 chapters and 12 sections, General Principles of Care and Protection. 
Chapter 2, JJ Board, Chapter 3, Children on Conflict with Law, Chapter 2, Child Welfare Committee, Chapter 5, Children in Need of Care and Protection, Chapter 6, Rehabilitation and Social Integration, Measures of Children under the Care, Institutional Care under Chapter 7, Adoption Measures and Procedures, Chapter 8, Offenses Against Children, Chapter Miscellaneous, Chapter 10, Objects and Purpose of the Act. This is an act to consolidate and amend the law relating to children alleging and found to be in conflict with law and children in need of care and protection by the catering to their basic needs through the case care, protection, and development, treatment, social and integration by adopting a child-friendly approach in adjudication and disposal. In the best interest of the children and for their relation, rehabilitation through processes, institutions, or bodies, this Act is to implement Article 15, Clause 3, Article 39, Clause E and F of Article 45 and Article 47 of the Constitution of India dealing with children and their needs and uh, this follows the standardized fixed by the Convention on Rights of Child by UNGIA on 11th December 1990 and UN Standard Minimum Rules for Administration of JJ 1985 Beijing Rules, UN Rules for Protection of Juveniles Deprived of Their Liability 1990, Hague Convention on the Protection of Children and Cooperation in Respect of Their Inter-Country Adoption 1993. It is expedient to reiterate that JJ Act 2000 to make uh, some comprehensive for children alleged and found to be in conflict with law. Chapter 3 of JJ Act has the responsibility to deal with the children in conflict with law. In case of heinous offences, the child is treated on par with the adults if he is in the age group of 16 to 18 years. Judgment. Chapter 27, Section 38, uh, 358, Section 353 to 365, sorry. 353 to 365 deals with the judgment. There is no definition of judgment present in the Code of CRPC. It is the final order of the Code, Section 2A of CPC, and defines judgment as the statement given by the judge on the grounds of a decree or an order. Ismail Amir Sheikh was the State of Maharashtra. It was held that a judgment is an act of judging. It was promoted and pointed out that the judgment should clearly mention the reason for accepting an argument. And Jacob Abdel Razak Menon was the State of Maharashtra. 2013, 13th section. The conviction order is not a judgment and that the judgment is a complete only after the sentence is determined. Form and contents of judgment is given to section 353. The presiding officer of the court immediately after the trial in the open court on that day, he may deliver the whole judgment or read out the operative portion. If the accused is in custody, he need to be brought up to and contents of the judgment are placed in before him in section 354. Points and reasons for decision need to be given and incorporated in the judgment given by the Metropolitan Magistrate under Section 355. Under Section 363, a copy of the judgment is to be given to the accused under Section 365 court of, uh, to send copy of the findings and sentence to the district magistrate. Summary trial. Summary trials are explained in Sections 260 to 265 of Chapter 21 of CRPC. It means speedy disposal cases which can be tried and disposed of at once. These cases are not complicated, does not require lengthy procedure and inquiry. Section 260 explains the power to try summarily. It can be Chief Judicial Magistrate, MM or any JFSCM. Offenses not punishable with death and imprisonment for life, imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years. Offenses under Section 411, 414, 452, 456 IPC. Section 261 explains summary trial by magistrate of second class. Offenses punishable only with fine or with the punishment of a term not exceeding six months with, with or without fine. Section 262 lays down the procedure for summary trial. Similar procedure as that of the summons case, except that no sentence of imprisonment for a term exceeding three months shall be passed in the case of any conviction. And recording of the summary trial is laid down in Section 263. Details need to be written in a format as specified under Section 264. Section explains that in every case tried and summarily in which the accused does not plead guilty, magistrate shall record substance of evidence and judgment in brief reason for the finding 265 and speaks about the language of record and judgment. Compensation to crime victim. Section 357 orders the payment of compensation. This is cover expense expenses incurred in the prosecution to pay any person as a compensation for any loss or injury caused by that offence to be recovered by the civil court accused by it causes death of someone or abetted or offence that the compensation will be paid to the person who is impacted by death of such person. Fatal Accidents Act 1955. 
if convicted for theft communal uh, breach of trust or misappropriation criminal misappropriation having dishonestly received or retained stolen property compensating any bona fide purchase of such property if any civil suit is raised on the same issue after awarding of compensation will court shall take into account any sum paid or recovered under this act ankur shivasi jaikwad vs state of maharashtra 2013 ac stated that the court has duty and power to apply material on payment of compensation to victim reasons to be recorded in addition as per the amendments that happened in 2009 2013 2018 in state government in coordination with the central government for providing funds for compensation state district legal services authority to ease the suffering of the victim may order for immediate first aid medical benefit for the cost and gratification of the po not below the rank of iac in charge of the police station or many of the area section 357 uh, explains about the compensation to be paid in addition to the fine under section 326a1 376b of ipc lakshmi versus union of india compensation given not enough compensation in addition to fine under section 376a 376ab 376d 376da 376db ipc criminal law amendment act 2018 Under Section 357C, it is mandatory for all um, hospitals, public or private, immediately to provide first aid and medical treatment free of cost and inform the police. Juvenile Justice Board. Section 4 of the JJ Act explains about the constitution of JJB or name in every district matter in relation to the children in conflict with law under this Act. It comprises of MMJF, JFCM with three years experience. two social workers as members at least one woman and social worker and who are actively involved in the welfare activities pertaining to children with the experience or practicing professional with a degree in child psychology psychiatry sociology or law person with a past record of human and child rights violation shall not be appointed central government ensures proper training and sensitization of the board members in their respects of child care protection within 60 days of appointment term of office of members are prescribed appointment terminated on the grounds of misuse of uh, powers failing to attend meetings uh, consequently for 3 months without any valid reason failing to attend 3 by 4 of the sittings in a year procedure for uh, functioning of jjb was under section 7 which is child friendly majority open prevails powers functions and responsibilities of the jjb under section 8 powers to company exist with the hc and uh, children's uh, court for appeal revision or proceedings under section 19 board protects children rights uh, informs the child and protects in every setting provides interpreter and translator conducts a social investigation through social uh, witnesses other land de- under section 14 juvenile in conflict with law he passed a final order including individual care plan and rehabilitation conducts inquiry instead of uh, institutions in case of crime against children for regarding of fir inspection of jails for check children session J- section 9 crpc deals with court of sessions no more sessions court are established district court is referred to as the sessions court when it exercises its jurisdiction on commercial matters committee to it by the magistracy court sessions court has power to impose the death penalty also sessions court comes below the hc and above the magistrate court and death sentence passed by the sessions judge shall be subject to confirmation by hc assistant sessions judge cannot pass death sentence or life sentence bail section 2a of crpc bailable offense means that shown in first schedule as bailable or in any other law section 50 person arrested has to be informed of the grounds of arrest and right to bail section 122 deals with imprisonment in default of security given for bail section 169 release of accused in executing a bond when the evidence against him is deficient section 389 suspension of sentence and pending appeal and release of appellant on bail pp has asked to move for a cancellation of the bail granted section 436 gives types of cases in which bail needs to be taken section 437 when the bail may be taken in non bailable offenses section 438 discretion to grant anticipatory bail 
section 439 bail powers of hc and sessions court section 440 amount of bond for bail section 441 bond of bond from the accused and sureties section 441a declaration of sure by sureties 443 powers to order sufficient bail 444 discharge of bail sureties 445 deposit instead of recognizance 446 bail bond forfeiture 446a cancellation of the bail bond Adi Dharam Das v. State of West Bengal states that the object of 438 CRPC. The moment the person is arrested, he has obtained an order under Section 438 CRPC, shall be released immediately in dowry death. He has option to grant anticipatory bail. General search and specific search. Written authority given to the police, government official by competent magistrate or a court for the search of any place generally, general search and for specific things or a specified document, specific search. It is a coercive method involving search of privacy. Two types of search with warrant 93 to 95, 97, search without warrant 103, 153, 165, 166. A general search is a search without any restriction as the items to be searched are placed to be searched, whereas a specific search is a search for a specific place, vehicle, individual, house for a specific item, object, document or a thing. Child in conflict with law under J.J. As per 2 class 13, a child in conflict with law means actually child who is not completed at the age of 18 years, who is alleged to have found to have committed an offence in Chapter 3 of the J.J. Act, he has the responsibility to deal with the children in conflict with law. The procedure is given in Chapter 4, which includes the inquiry and preliminary assessment into the heinous nature under Section 14 and 15. In case of heinous offence, the child is treated at par with adult if his age group is between 16 to 18 years. So let us see an overview again once more. What we have seen here, institution of a criminal case, institution of a criminal case by way of 